everybody. Jolene with She's Out There. I'm back. I wanted to check in with everybody and thank my subscribers for hanging in there with me. And I want to thank my new subscribers that came over to watch my channel from Linda's Serene and Simple Life. Um, we hung out together this for a few days on the lake in Wyoming. And uh, so some of the subscribers from her channel came over to check mine out and subscribed. So thank you very much. And um, this fall and this winter, it's gonna be great. Uh, we're gonna head back south and check out some new areas. So we'll see you out there. The farmer is letting us park right here at the cellars while Buzz drives for the potato harvest. This is one of those jobs that nomads can do for two or three months, seasonal work. Um, this is um, digging up potatoes for the potato harvest. Uh, they dig them up, put them in a truck, and then the truck takes them to the cellar until they get ready to be shipped and packaged and sent to the store or wherever they may be going. I wanted to take a break from sitting at the cellars um, while Buzz was working, so I came out to one of my favorite camp spots just to hang out um, get some wilderness time in, hike around. I love these big sagebrush. Look how tall it is. Last time I was out here, there was stinging nettle and uh, I'm, I'm not seeing any. I'm gonna keep looking, but it is really good. It's like spinach, only it's a lot better for you nutrition wise. So I'm gonna keep looking. I think I found some stinging nettle. They're so little there. They should be great big bushes by this time of the year. I'm not positive that's what it is, but uh, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna, I'll pick some and uh, positively identify it before I eat it. But I, I'm gonna see if I can find bigger patch of it. Back to the potato farm. The season's starting to wind down now and I'm getting really excited because <clears throat> it's getting time to head south after all the potatoes are in, safely, snugly in their little cellars. Um, we'll be taking off. So I'm feeling a lot better and uh, ex very excited. I love the southern desert so much. I love Lake Mead and I love Lake, the, Lake Havasu. Um, and I'm looking forward to checking out new places down there this year. It's going to be fun. So I'll show you what it looks like inside the truck here after Buzz checks his oil. They have to do that 
every morning before they start, check their oil and fill the trucks up. They have quite the fleet of trucks. Trucks back up here and they unload these potatoes. They go up into that, what you'd call a hopper. They go over into this, what they call a green machine. And uh, it takes out the potato vines and rocks and cleans it up a little better before they go into the cellar. It's huge. Here's the uh, vines and stuff from the potatoes. And then it goes into this stinger and uh, They unload it into these uh, cellars here, potato cellars. They're huge and they're insulated. They're huge, 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 insulated. I'd really like to uh, drive next year. I've done it before, it was when I was like 16, but uh, I can't drive at night, so I'd have to stop before it got dark, but I could drive quite a few hours. It's fall, and the Snake River, the water level has gone way down. It's like everything is slowing down and coming to a a halt for winter here. Absolutely gorgeous. The potato fields are all harvested and in the cellars. After this week, the temperatures are going to drop dramatically. Um, it's going to freeze every night. Thank you for everything, Pilatus Farms. Hope we see you next fall.